What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and guys, just like in the thumbnail, today we're going to go over low-level hero attacks, and we're going to show you how to work those low-level heroes, and I've got some strategies, guys, that I want you to pay close attention to in this video. Each one of these strategies cater to low-level heroes. Uh, we're going to start with Corbin, and actually Corbin's got a few hits in this video. Uh, Corbin is from the clan called the Crown Royal. Those guys are quite skilled at using their low-level heroes. Obviously, guys, this is HGHB. HGHB is low level hero friendly, guys. This is a great attack. It's an old attack. It works great. And I'm going to show you several different examples of different different strategies, guys, that you can use uh, no matter the hero level. I mean, typically you want at least, uh, you know, 8, 8, 10, 10 um, if you can. Uh, but, you know, if they're even uh, smaller than that, sometimes you can still get away with these strategies. Most of the time, your ten or your king's going to be ten anyway. By the time you get to nine, and it's your queen that's going to be the low level. But as you can see here, Corbin's made great work. This is a southern teaser base, guys, and he went right into the trap. Um, the way this base is designed, uh, it's designed to kind of eat up your core push as you're going into the base, and it did. His giants got everything down though, and uh, the bowlers, and now, you know, he's bringing the hogs across. And he's going to finish up the base with the hogs. And that's how this attack is utilized. Typically, they're working together, though. Your your giants typically don't fade completely out on this attack. But with low-level heroes, obviously, you can only get but so far into the base. So right here, as you can see, he's got plenty of hogs left. And the way that Corbin worked this was the way that you should work it as a low-level hero 9. So that base is wrapped. It's, we're going to speed it up, guys, because it is just clean up here, as you can see. Boom, boom, boom. It's a wrap. Get her out of here. Good job, Corbin. We'll move on to the next low-level hero attack. And as, look, guys, it's Corbin again. Six-pack height for Corbin. He's rolling a witch slap. Now, guys, you guys are familiar with this. I'm absolutely sure of that. Witch slap is one of the more powerful Town Hall 9 attacking strategies in the game. It is, uh, it is a set it and forget it attack. It is very user friendly. It's hard to mess it up. I will say this though, the healers, as you can see here, Corbin's already uh, set his giant too close to the side witches. And that is the only way that you can really screw up this attack, but it still does not prevent it from three starring. Uh, but what it will do is your witches on that bottom side of the funnel will probably die. But, as of right now, I think his healers are... Well, they're still there. Nope, they're down in the core, so his healers are down. Uh, he's still got a couple of witches on that bottom side funnel. The top, side, the top funnel or side funnel is good. The witches are doing their things, making, making waves through the base. Um, and... As you can see, the queen is left to her lonesome. The king kind of blew out and, and took down the side of the base. So now the queen has her ability. And these are mid-level heroes here, guys. They're, they're, I consider these low, but this is pretty close. I think uh, 15, 17, I think uh, that's, that's pretty... That's pretty uh, it's getting almost, almost uh, middle age for heroes. Or over middle age, my apologies. But as you can see here, this attack has wrecked the space. Good job, Corbin. Nice six-pack attack. Definitely, guys, Witch Slap is definitely uh, one that's going to favor low-level heroes for sure. All right, let's take a look at this one. And guys, look at here. We've got a Govaho with a Quake set entry. Nice. Oh, Max Gollum in the CC. Impressive. So he's not going bowlers here, guys. Now, I noticed his wizards came out a little late here for the funnel. I'm a little concerned about that. He should have cut that funnel uh, before dropping the heroes. Because the king probably is going to go shopping now. No, no, he's turning back in. Wow, he caught a break here, Jared. You caught a break. And these are some... Some definite baby heroes here, guys.
Everything's moving in. It's a really nice funnel. Valkyries are coming in. And here comes the fun, guys. He's got two rages and a heal. Uh, Valks under rage are amazing. Second rage. All right, I'm looking for that heal. Jared, looking for that heal, buddy. Oh, you're doing it for the hoggies, huh? And let the let the Valks die. I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright, so if his hogs will stay up, guys, it's a wrap. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a little concerned about that bomb tower. Uh, these hogs may actually not make it through that bomb tower. That is a major concern. Yeah, right here. If they get the bomb tower, that's great. They did not. Holy smokes. Oh, there you go. Valk got the bomb tower, and guess what? Those few Valks right there are going to be able to come in and finish off this base. They're going to melt through that little uh, purple wall. And there you go. Great job, Jared. Excellent attack. And let's watch this wizard finish it off in spectacular fashion. <laughs> Good job. All right, let's take a look at this attack. And he is utilizing, um, it looks like a go we a go a go we hobo shattered. And guys, the blue, uh, you, you see, he's using the uh, the upgrade on his troops there, one of the spells. So he's maxing out his troops, even though he doesn't have max troops. Uh, this is Gator, and this is a very low level hit here, guys. So this is very impressive. The base isn't quite maxed. It's got baby bows, uh, you know, Town Hall 8, a lot of the defenses. But hey, guys, I mean, with those heroes, uh, this is an uphill challenge right here. A real test. All right, and he just used those witches there, guys, to, to kind of help his funnel a little bit. I like that. Here comes those bowlers. Jump spell. And if he plays that rage really deep, it's going to be good. And there it is, guys. That is pretty deep. He is going to get a lot of value for these bowlers. Here comes the hogs coming in. And that one wizard tower is baby. That's good bombs going off here he's got another spell guys and as you can already see it's ripped the drain for this base gator really really nice attack here man oh man another spell and it's a wrap hogs are fine they're gonna finish off this base with plenty of time all right, let's take another look at another example of a low-level hero uh, friendly attack. And that is another Witch Slap. And guys, uh, this attack I cannot say enough about. This is probably one of the most favorable low-level hero attacks in the game, in my opinion. I could I could be... Well, I mean, there's several, but, but th I, I gotta say this one is definitely the most user-friendly. Um, it definitely caters to a wide variety of skill of players, so definitely try this one out if your heroes are below uh, 15 or 15, you know, in there, in that, in that range. Now, obviously, uh, you know, your base has to match up for the slap. I mean, as you can see, the air defense are in the center of this base, and this is definitely not a league-style base, guys. This is a regular spend war base uh, probably a two-year-old meta base so you definitely are not going to see this in league and you wouldn't use low-level heroes in league anyway so this is more of the style you're gonna see uh, in most of your wars anyway with low-level heroes so definitely uh, pay attention to the air defense positioning with witch slap that's the only thing that really matters uh, definitely try to stay away from the golems uh, when you're setting the funnel on the outsides with the healers uh, because they will jump off onto the golems 
and that'll put the uh, healers in jeopardy with the air defense. So right here, Joker's wrecked it. He's absolutely wrecked it. His heroes did go down, but it doesn't matter. The witches are still going, and they and they got plenty of juice behind them. Look at this. Boom. Great job, Joker. Excellent work. And that's what we're doing here. We're working, guys. We're working these low-level heroes in this video right here yet. This is a shattered Gohobo. And, guys, look at this base design. I know you've seen this in your wars. I know you have. This is a very, very common ring-style base for Town Hall 9. And this is yet another different style of attack that will work with your low-level heroes. I gotta say, this was the attacking method that I kind of cut my teeth on, which was go ho, not with bowlers. Uh, but of course, when bowlers came along, I, I switched right over to go hobo, and there you go. Beautiful attacking method. And look at these baby heroes. Beta Gator. Wow, man. That is some baby heroes there. Rolling this attack with these heroes is very impressive. And this is pretty much a max defense base, guys. That's one of the reasons I wanted to show you this attack. Because, wow. This is it right here. Max, max, uh, you know, wizard towers, max mortars, max cannons. Everything is max here. And this is very, very impressive. Indeed. And guys, uh, we're going to switch gears uh, on this next attack. I, I know you guys noticed that pretty much every one of these attacks were ground. But I got a treat for you on this last one, guys. I didn't want to just sit here and bring you all ground attacks. You know, if you are open uh, to learning, you can, in fact, uh, learn air at Town Hall 9. If you're willing to put some work in on FCs, you can do it, guys. You can absolutely do it. Really nice work. Beta Gator. Excellent attack. Alright guys, in this last one, like I said, I promised the mayor. Here we go. We got a, a cold-blooded Gohobo. Or, I'm sorry, um, Golo Laloon. Gobo Laloon. And this is by Nox of Jedi Risen. Now his heroes are a little bit above, you know, 8 and 9 and all that. I mean, they're, they're, they're mid-level, but Still, guys, you can do this attack with some heroes lower than this. It just takes uh, funnel dynamics. You've got to understand how to make your funnel. Cut that funnel for the bowlers. Make it in and get a couple of air defense and call it a day. Now, his bowlers just walked. Uh, only, only two of them, though. He's still got some. He's going to get down one AD. And being that he's got uh, two uh, or three air defense up and, and two hounds, he should be okay, but he's going to get another air defense, which is even better. And I think the bow, I think one bow's on ground, one bow's on air. So he's taking advantage of the base weakness with this attack. Now he's fighting a sweeper, and there's no way around that. But Knox is doing a great job, and guys, he absolutely wrecks this base. Watch these balloons. He's got one more rage. He's trying to rage into that sweeper. Get it down. Grab this next bow. It's not doing anything. It's just sitting there all quiet. And there you go. Just like that, guys. This base is a wrap. And guys, hopefully uh, this video will inspire you to do some of these attacks. If you're not doing these attacks, I know some of you guys know already know some of these attacks. But guys... Uh, this is what's working at low-level heroes at Town Hall 9. So if you want to put in some work for your team, definitely try some of these attacks, guys. Now, guys, I just wanted to remind you of the Spring Trap Show with me and Echo Through Me on the weekends. If you're not familiar with that, go to Echo Through Me's channel, support him, sub there, and watch our show on Saturday and Sunday nights. Usually around 10 p.m. Eastern, guys. And if you're interested in joining mine and Echo's and Duke's, Late Sleepers and Spoobies, uh, family of clans, 
you can click on a link in the description. It'll take you either to the main server for our family, uh, if your clan's interested, or you can go to the recruitment server for a single link or a single individual. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I am out of here.